Nicole Hardman Jr. joins me now, fresh off the big win in Las Vegas last night. Thank you so much for joining me because I'm pretty sure you just want to crash. Or maybe you don't. Maybe, you know, it's all adre adrenaline right now. What does one do after you win a Super Bowl in Vegas? How did you spend the night? You know, we uh, had that at the party, and that was that was very lit. And um, <laughs> then you just go out about it and, and do some things, you know. Yeah, I bet you there's lots of high-quality champagne flowing, I expect. I don't know if that's your drink of choice. Um, you know, like prior to the Super Bowl, there was a lot of talk about what makes a good Super Bowl player. And what I heard over and over again is that it's not just necessarily the skills, it's the ability to forget about the pressure of the moment and to play beyond that. And you had said that you literally, like, blacked out on the final play of the game. What what do you remember? Is that what is that what it means when you say you don't feel the pressure and you just play? Yeah, I mean definitely uh, to go back to what you were saying, like in those type of moments, it's, it's it's not about how good you is. It's about if you can you know perform under that pressure. And um, and the Super Bowl is the, you know the the biggest game you can play in. And and definitely when I caught that ball, I, I blacked out. I don't know if that was because of the pressure or not, but. <laughs> Um, I just remember catching and scoring and just hearing Pat telling me, you know, you know you're a champion. So oh that's kind of what I remember from that moment. Amazing. Um, so I'm sure that this, that is going to be a memory that will last a lifetime. And it's always going to be thrilling every time you think about it. But I'm wondering, this is your third Super Bowl win as a member of the Chiefs. I mean, d does the feeling change at all from one Super Bowl to the next? I think it get better and better, honestly, you know, from my rookie year and then, you know, winning again last year and this year. I mean, I think that it just get, it gets better and better, especially, you know, that this year I can play in it. Um, so, but, yeah, the, the, it, don't, it don't get old at all, I'll tell you that. When people use the word dynasty, do you like that? Do you not like it? Does it mean, you know, the Chiefs have a target on their back now? Or what, what's your take on what it means to possibly be a dynasty? Um, I think we end up starting one, um, but how I see it is, you know, I don't think that we we feed too much into it. You know, that's what, like, everybody on the outside say. But to us, we just, you know, we're doing what we're supposed to do. And that's, you know, working hard every day, um, each and every day, and going out there and try to win football games. So I guess the title that y'all put on is a dynasty. You know, we'll take it because um, definitely would love to be, you know, the, the start of it for sure. And can you speak a little bit about your quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, and how he's been able to sort of elevate his play in the game like this? Yeah, you, you seem that he, you know, he's he's so comfortable in those in those high pressure moments. Yeah. You know, he didn't done it, you know, time and time again, man. You know, and I don't think you'd rather have anybody else in those moments. He didn't prove himself um, to, you know, to be that elite player in, in those in those times. So. For what he does in those moments is, is incredible, and definitely, I, you know, I'd love to have him at a quarterback any time in the moments. So, for yes, at yesterday at the game, I don't know, were you able to have your family around? I'm kind of curious as to whether or not your people were able to be at the game, and if not, are you going to be able to see them anytime soon? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they was there. My mom, my dad, <laughs> and my girl. They all, they all was there. I met them on the field. It, it was definitely. Um, a good thing to, to have them there. And then what comes next for you? How are you going to celebrate the end of the season? You know what? I don't know. My son's birthday tomorrow. You nice. know, probably got some things, things lined up. So we, we're definitely going to celebrate for, for a couple weeks for sure. <laughs> How old is your son? Uh, he'll be one tomorrow. Whoa. So was he at, was he down there on the field? No, no, we didn't, we didn't bring him to the game. Okay. Sometimes you might act a little fool, so <laughs> we got to make, sure make sure he was calm. Well, I mean, you could have, that's a great thing to hold over his head over the you know, next few years. You're one year old. You've already been to the Super Bowl. What, what you going to do for me now? Um, Nicole, right? Uh, well, uh, have, fun, yeah, I know. have fun celebrating with your son. Congratulations again. And who knows? Maybe we'll see you there next year as well. Never know. Nicole Hartman, we'll thank see. you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.